My name is Morris Robinson and I'm a bass and I am singing the role of the Grand Inquisitor in Don Carlo. I performed it once, once before in Cincinnati Opera back in 2009, so I'm looking forward to readdressing it uh, after having some more familiarity with it and, you know, growing into my voice more and being more experienced on stage. I'm looking forward to it. You know, the Grand Inquisitor is, uh, in my opinion, typical Verdi priest. Uh, I was here last playing Zacharia, who was a very controversial priest. If you think about Ramfitz and Maeda, controversial priest, priest. Grand Inquisitor has his own agenda. Uh, Philip is coming to him to seek solace and advice on how to handle his son. And basically, I blow that off like, I blow it off like, you know, no big deal. He's a traitor. God sacrificed his son. Why can't you do it for the peace of the world, you know? But I have something else that I want. <laughs> so I'm using religion as my weapon to convince him to do what I want him to do. So it's a typical battle of church and state. You know, I have him on the puppet strings and I'm trying to control him. And, and I think, uh, you know, that's part of the drama. That's what makes it great drama, you know? You know, Eric's a pro and he's wonderful. He's a wonderful artist and I, I'm vibing off of him. He's vibing off of me. And I think that, you know, today was kind of sticking our toes in the water. We're going to go much deeper. So I'm looking forward to really uh, getting down to the, the, the nitty gritty with this scene and uh, making it really special. My favorite musical moment in the opera, I hate to say it, but it's this scene. It's the scene between the Grand Inquisitor and King Philip. I mean, I've watched Paul Pliska and Jerome Hines do it. I watched uh, James Morris, who was my first uh, uh, King Philip, do it with Sam Raimi. I mean, I've watched them all, you know, Nikolai Garov. I've, this scene is just, when the music starts, it's just intensity off the top, you know? And if you can't get amped up for this, when you hear that first, boom, 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 if that doesn't get you going, you might as well leave, you know? <laughs> Uh, I became an opera singer. I started studying music at the age of 30. Uh, having the background in high school of singing, singing uh, at the School of the Arts, it was in my blood. But I was singing the Lord's Prayer at a lot of weddings and stuff like that, and at sporting events, singing the, the national anthem. And uh, I auditioned for the Washington Choral Arts Society, and Norman Scribner heard me and thought, you know, said to me, you, your voice is pretty special. You should be doing this for a living. And then I relocated to New England shortly thereafter and auditioned for the weekend pro program at the New England Conservatory of Music, sang the national anthem, and they said, you should be in an opera studio. So I joined the opera studio, and from that I got into a production where uh, the leader, the director of Boston University's Opera Institute, Sharon Daniels, was there and heard me, and you know, offered me a full scholarship to come study music. So I quit my job and started studying music at the age of 30, and you, know, you never know where life is going to take you. You never know what your career path career path is going to be or what you're going to end up doing. Uh, and music was always my first love. I have two loves, sports and music. <laughs>